Hypovolemic shock, including hemorrhagic shock, is the most common etiology of shock in the trauma and surgical patient. Life-threatening hemorrhage can occur in both thoracic cavities, the peritoneal cavity, the retroperitoneum and pelvis, the thigh and femur, and externally, leading to a decrease in circulatory volume and subsequent tissue hypoperfusion. This is manifested with decreased markers of preload, such as central venous and pulmonary capillary wedge pressures, and an increase in systemic vascular resistance. Hemorrhagic shock can be categorized by the amount of blood loss and associated clinical signs and symptoms. Class 1 shock accounts for up to 750 cc's of blood loss, or 15% of blood volume, and has no hemodynamic abnormalities. Class 2 shock accounts for 750 to 1500 cc's of blood loss, or 15 to 30% of blood volume, and is associated with a narrow pulse pressure and mild tachycardia. Class 3 shock accounts for 1500 to 2000 cc's of blood loss, or 30 to 40% of blood volume, and is associated with the presence of hypotension. Class 4 shock accounts for greater than 2 liters of blood loss or greater than 40% of blood volume and hemodynamic instability. Cardiogenic shock is circulatory or pump failure despite adequate intravascular volume. Causes of intrinsic dysfunction can include dysrhythmias and myocardial infarction, as well as severe cardiomyopathies, ruptured valves, septal defects, and blunt cardiac injury. Characteristic findings include elevated filling pressures, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure for the left heart, and CVP for the right, and the setting of low cardiac output and high SVR. Cardiac support should be provided with inotropic medications such as epinephrine, milrinone, or dobutamine, or mechanical support as needed. Patients with obstructive shock usually have hypotension associated with distended neck veins, but without clinical signs of fluid overload. A large pulmonary embolism can cause right heart strain or dysfunction, should be suspected with a history of pleuritic chest pain, acute dyspnea, and hemodynamic compromise. Tension pneumothorax occurs due to a ball and valve effect in which air enters but does not exit the thoracic cavity. Patients present in shock with tracheal deviation to the contralateral side and absent unilateral breath sounds. Cardiac tamponade may be sudden in onset and life-threatening. However, Beck's triad of JVD, hypotension, and distant muffled heart sounds is present in only a minority of patients. Cardiac output in obstructive shock declines as severity progresses, while SVR is increased with an elevated CVP. Tamponade is distinguished from the other etiologies by equalization of the diastolic pressures.